Continuing with our third-person shooter tutorial here. Uh, so far we've made a pretty complete game, uh, third-person shooter as far as the character is involved and some things he interfaces with. Um, and you'll notice that out of all the tutorials we haven't had to write a single line of code because of uh, Blender's logic editor allows you to customize stuff without actually having to type out a lot of code. Blender does accept Python code for more advanced things and we're actually going to write some code out today don't get too worried, it's only going to be two lines of code. And uh, what we're working on today is we are going to make a main menu for our game. Last time we made this little intro screen, uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new scene, we'll do a full copy, and you see it made a copy of our intro screen, it called it intro.001. We're just going to rename that menu up here. Uh, we can then delete this text and we can select our camera and remove all these logic hooks that we've created uh, because those were all for timing for the text that we don't need anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to, in one of these windows, select text and we are going to add new text. We're going to rename it. We'll call it cursor. Uh, and the reason we're going to have to write code out is because in the actual game, if you watch up here when I hit P to play, the cursor disappears. And when we're working in the menu, we need a cursor. So we need to write out the code for that. And I'll have it available here in the video. You can copy and paste it or download this file. It's real simple. I'm going to paste it in here. And to show it to you, it's import rasterizer and then rasterizer dot show mouse and then parentheses one. So that's our Python script. That's all you have to type as far as the code goes. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to select the camera and the logic editor. We're going to add a hook for always, so it's continuously doing this. And we're going to connect it here. And we're going to go up to and create this a make a Python script. And we're going to tell it that we want to use our cursor code that we just pasted in there. Now, when I hit P, you'll see I've got a cursor in the game, which is going to be very helpful. Now we need to start making our menu. I'm going to turn this back into a 3D viewpoint. And we're going to add a plane. I'm going to go into the side view here. I'm going to S and scale the plane up a bit. And then I'm going to hit R and then hold down Control to rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, I'm going to go into front view here. And then I'm going to grab the plane, move it up. I'm going to scale it up like so, and then scale it on the x-axis. Right now I have it lined up to the camera, and then we can use your center scroll here to zoom in closer on that. What we need to do now is add uh, a texture to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this viewpoint to uh, UV Image Editor. We are going to hit tab with the panel selected, which puts it into edit mode, and then we're going to hit U and we're going to click unwrap. Now we're going to select an image that's going to be our background for our main menu. I did a search for Creative Commons backgrounds, found this picture of a helicopter. I figure it's better than nothing, you can make your own, but I'm just going to choose that and save the image to the folder where I have my game at. Now I can come back here to Blender and go image open and I select that image. It puts it there. It is upside down, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit R over here and then hold down Control and rotate it 180 degrees. Now when we hit P, oh, got to go out edit mode, hit Tab, hit P, we have our background there. And obviously we can zoom in so we don't have any of that border. Next we need to create uh, the text for our game. So let's do that Let's open up GIMP over here. And in GIMP, we are going to go to uh, File, and we're going to Create. And GIMP has a bunch of these preset uh, logos. We're going to choose one. I'll just choose Chrome. I don't really know what it looks like. And I'm just going to say Play. So that's to play the game gives you some options on text and color. I'm just going to use the default. It made this little uh, design here for us. It's three layers. Uh, we're going to click on the background layer 
and remove it so we have a transparent background and then we're going to right click on any of these layers and we're going to say merge visible layers click merge and now we have one layer and then we're going to save it as we're going to go to where wherever you want to save it but we're going to save it into our game folder and we're going to call it play.png make sure you make it a png we're going to click save come back over here we are going to also while we're in here click this little package button it saves that image into your blender files so if the actual jpeg gets deleted it's still saved into your blender file now we are going to uh, add another panel going to go into our side view and I'm going to rotate control put it on 90 degrees I'm going to grab it on the y-axis pull out just a little bit so it's in front of the other panel I'm going to go back in the front view here and I am going to scale it down and scale it on the x-axis so it looks like that same thing as before we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode while we have that panel selected you unwrap we are going to open an image we are going to open our play.png and now we're going to hit A to unselect uh, all your vertices in here hit B and select these two here and then we're going to G to grab it on the x-axis and drag it out like that A, A to select all rotate and control rotate it around so it's not upside down anymore so now you can see if we hit tab out of edit mode and hit P we have our play button there but it's got a background we don't want it to have a background there so what we're going to do is with that selected we are going to come over here to our um, object mode we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode and actually we want to go to our edit button here which is F9 and we're going to go to text faces and we're going to collect alpha so now because our file is a PNG hit tab to go out of edit mode hit P it's now transparent and you just got the word on the picture background here. Then we're going to go into our logic editor for it. We're going to add, add, and we're going to add a mouse and a mouse. And we're going to say left button. And then the other one we're going to say when mouse over. And we're going to connect both of those. So when the mouse is over that panel and when the mouse cli uh, uh, left clicks, we are going to and we're going to go up here to scenes and we're going to set scene to our game which is called scene with a capital S and we'll connect it now when we hit P we've got our cursor we click on play and our game starts uh, so that's it for now because I'm running low on time next time I'll show you how to connect your intro screen actually I'm gonna do that real quick hopefully I have enough time go to intro now here where we said scene we're gonna set that to menu now we start our game P up here words come flying in fades out menu comes up we click play game starts hope you enjoyed this tutorial films by Chris.com for more